Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. One of the best things that we did on San Andres Island off the coast of Colombia is go scuba diving. San Andres Island is actually where I got my open water certification. I got it through this company called Banda Dive Shop and I believe I paid around $250 for my scuba certification plus one additional dive. In this particular video, this is dive number three, and it was at a place called Trilogia in Colombia. Um, this particular dive, we went about eight meters deep, and we were underwater for approximately 65 minutes. The visibility on this particular day was actually outstanding. You could probably see more than 30 meters away. It was a perfect time to dive. This was actually a fun dive for me because I was mainly tagging along with Andy who um, was getting his advanced um, scuba diving certification and part of the um, training or techniques that you had to do with the advance was to identify um, sea life, sea creatures, and so he had to identify certain fish and plants um, under the sea. As I mentioned, the water was super crystal clear. I mean, the water was warm and there's a bunch of colorful fish all around and a bunch of other sea life that you could see. Uh, there's lobsters everywhere. The best time for diving in this area is pretty much all year round. There's no wetsuit necessary, but the diving company does provide a long sleeve um, shirt in case you need it, in case you get cold. Water temperature is normally around 29 degrees Celsius, which equates to about 84 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's pretty warm. So one really funny story about the scuba diving trip is you know before you do any actual scuba diving you have to do some training to make sure that you can put on your gear properly you know what to do during an emergency and you kind of do all these practice like in an enclosed pool make sure you know how to swim and float etc and so on my first day I thought I was going to be in an enclosed pool to do this training. Turns out, when I get there, they actually take me to the sea, like the ocean. And that day couldn't have been worse for a training day because it was thundering and lightning. Like, I thought they were going to cancel my training. But nope, I got to keep going with my training. And, you know, I had to like swim a hundred yards back and forth in the rain while it's thundering. And these like huge waves were just splashing on me. And I had to like float there for 10 minutes, um, just facing up <laughs> while my trainer was watching me the whole time. And I remember it being kind of cold. It was actually warmer to be in the water but whenever like you know you stood up or anything like that it was like super cold i just remember thinking to myself i'm probably gonna die i'm gonna get struck by lightning i'm gonna drown something's gonna happen to me here in colombia and and no one's gonna care because i'm in a different country and no one's gonna know so i was kind of freaking out just a little bit but obviously, even after all of that, and I was probably just being a little bit dramatic, it was very worth it to me. It was such a great experience being underwater, seeing all those sea life, sea creatures. Feels like you're on a different planet. It's the best way I can describe it. So since then, I've done seven dives total. I actually want to go for my advanced scuba diving certification i think that requires four additional dives with a trainer and you do a bunch more techniques and training underwater which um, i'm very much looking forward to do to doing when i tr travel to other areas and do more diving i hope you guys like this video and are encouraged uh, to do some diving yourself i highly encourage it it's really fun it's great and yeah 
hope you like it please like and subscribe and can't wait to see you guys on the next one